Right, here we go. Um, we're back to Pro Serve. Uh, right, I'm just, there's, there's allegedly um, the company I work for, AB Automotive. I'm sure my boss won't mind me saying that. Um, there's these alleged outstanding parking tickets um, issued by ProServe. And now, for some reason, Bidwell's, the estate agent, has been in touch with my boss, um, demanding that we um, pay up or all the trucks will be banned from uh, the Docks estate, which is, is just bullied by tactics, really, because at the end of the day, they don't even issue like a paper ticket. Um, and by the Protection of Freedoms Act 2012, a ticket has to be issued on the day to the driver, either um, to his hand or um, stuck on the windscreen. So I'm just going to phone uh, Mr. Andrew Hart at um, Bidwell's and uh, see if I can't convince him. Other, other stuff will become clear, obviously, as I go on. But five police officers actually on the 15th of April witnessed him saying you've got a parking ticket without actually putting any ticket on my windscreen or giving it to me. So five police officers have witnessed him breaking the law um, and I was told he would be arrested if he banned me again. So here we go, I've got this on speakerphone. Well I will have it on speakerphone so hopefully this will work. Oh, hi. Is um, Andrew Hart available at all, please? I'll try to find for you. He's calling. Uh, my name's Paul Dakers. Just one moment. <laughs> 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 Yes, hello. Uh, my name's Paul Dakers. Um, I believe you've sent a letter to my boss at AB Automotive regarding alleged outstanding parking tickets. That would have come from uh, ProServe. That's correct, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. Basically, he, he's asked me to give you a phone because he's a bit busy today. Basically, the, the first thing is, uh, Mr Hart, that there was no actual ticket, which uh, under Protection of Freedoms Act 2012 is illegal because all, all the manager of ProServe does is come along and take pictures of the truck and then send you a letter in the post, and that, that's actually illegal. Are you aware of that? Uh, they would have issued a notice of trespass. No, 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 no. The thing is, you see, you have to be actually uh, have a ticket on the windscreen or given to the driver on the day, otherwise, because the driver has to find out before the registered no, owner of no, the vehicle. No. You are allowed to send by post. No, no, you must read the Protection of Freedoms Act 2012, Mr Hart, because that contradicts everything you're saying, and indeed the illegal practice of um, ProServe itself. No, it's all, it's all legal, done with the courts and that. We've had um, barristers and solicitors working on cases, and we've got all the legal stuff in place, which is correct. Right, and are you aware, incidentally, because I work, obviously, I drive for AB Automotive, and on the 15th of April, when, um, I forget the chap's name at ProServe, um, he seems to have invented three parking tickets for me. Um, are you aware that, that five police were on site, and he was told that if he stopped me getting into any of the yards again, he would be arrested? Uh, well, that's incorrect, because it is private land. Uh, there is signage there saying no stopping, no parking, no waiting. Uh, yes, but he, he was deliberately targeting me because he didn't like me, and the police were previously aware of that. And in fact, you, he will be arrested if I get stopped going onto any of the sites. You must know that. Yeah, the police won't intervene because it's a civil matter. Well, I'll, 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 be, I'll, be, the I'll be seeing them later today at Felixstowe, I'm sure, but um, I've still got the incident number from the day of 15th of April when I, in fact... Um, I parked where the police instructed me to as we were trying to sort the situation out and he got his camera out and he took a picture and said that's another ticket because that's illegal parking. I mean, does, does that not seem quite a childish attitude to you given that I parked where the police asked me to? Uh, not at all, no, because the police um, are hard 
hardly ever on that estate. They're only called when there's an incident or a problem. And, uh, and as I say, the, 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 the private land, the police have got no say on parking trucks up on the private land. I I had already I'd pre to that previous to that day you see I had already emailed the police about his behaviour so he was um, banning me purely as a personal vendetta you see Is it, would you not say that's a bit unprofessional? Well, uh, I don't know about that. Um, I've not been informed of anything about that, so I can't comment on it. No, well, I imagine he wouldn't want to mention that, would he? Um, well, it's it's basically, Mr. Hart, it's just you can do what you wish with this information. Um, Basically, he, he will be arrested if he stops me getting into any sites, and by banning AB Automotive, you're banning me. So I'll leave that in your hands, to be honest. Yeah, because his instructions are, and he's under a contract to the landowner. Um, yes, but do, land. do you not understand? He's managed the land, and he's instructed to do that in his contract. He's, he's, he's already been cautioned by the police that he will be arrested if he stops me getting onto any sites. He, I mean, he, the man doesn't even wear his SIA badge on his jacket, which is also completely illegal by S... One. What? He doesn't need one. He's a land bailiff. He's certificated by the court. Oh, well, that, that'd be why he was carrying it when the police asked him to get out of his pocket then, would it, if he doesn't need it? But other types of their job, their, um, whatever they do, um, they have a badge for it. But for the, what he's operating on on Trinity Distribution Park, he's uh, acting as a land bailiff. Mr Hart, you need to be aware of the law. All SIA qualified security guards, bailiffs, whatever, have to have their badge on show for members of the public to be able to take their number at any time. Now, when I asked him to produce his SIA badge, he point-blank refused. And I think, I think the guy's name is Mark Downs or something as well. He also refused. And they had them in the pockets, Mr Hart. That, that's illegal. They have to have them on their sleeves or somewhere visible on their jacket. Do you, do you not understand the law? I don't think yes. you do. I do. Because I've worked security. So, so I know what, that's, this is why I got out of security, because the SIA was coming in. And, and yeah, he's the, not the, of security. He's there as a land bailiff. He's accredited by the courts. By the courts. Listen, um, I've, I've, I've given you really all the information I need to, to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm just fascinated to actually know where all these CCTV cameras are around the private estates, because I've never actually seen any. We can't miss them, they're on poles, and they're uh, small, um, 360 degree globe cameras. Okay, well, I'll, I'll have a look for them this afternoon. Uh, but just just so you are aware, Mr Hart, I will be speaking to the police this afternoon and the first AB automotive truck that gets banned from, from the private estate, um, the police will be round to arrest the, this chap, I can't remember his name. But that's uh, I just want to make that quite clear. Do you understand that? Well, I will speak with the police because if a banning notice is issued for a company, it's private land and it's issued on behalf of the landowner. No, you, you can't don't comply with the landowner's rules and regulations, then we'll ban you. you. You don't understand, Ms. Dar. He's already been cautioned that he will be arrested if he bans me from a site. So that that's what's going to happen if he bans AB Automotive. Do you not understand that? Well, it's not him banning; it's the landowner. It's. It doesn't really matter. He's the one that's going to be stopping us getting in, isn't it? So, do you know what I mean? Which is carrying out his duty and the police know all about this and they will obviously comply with him. Sorry, the police know all about... The, land. the police know all about what? About the park, uh, the, about the enforcement operation down there. If you speak to a PC, Richard, at Felixstowe. Yeah, he's, he's the one that comes out every time you get a complaint about this chap, isn't it? Because he, he's been out several times, I think. I think, yeah, the, I think he, knows, the, he knows what the score is down there. I think the police said to me they had about 20 complaints about him. That's why they called him out the day I was down there. Yeah, well, the police know they're it and they are working with us on this. Are, are you saying you've got the police in your pocket, Mr Hart? No, not R at all. So what, what are you saying exactly? Because this this is civil law. Now, the, the only... The only what goes on down there because he's private land. They know what the rules and regulations are of the landowner. Yeah, that's they, civil law, so they technically cannot intervene, though, can they? Exactly. Right, all I'm saying to you is they have previously cautioned uh, Matey Boy because he was t carrying out a personal vendetta against me that if I was banned from going on to any of the sites, he would be arrested. Now, do you understand that, Mr Hart? I understand that because I know he's had no cautions from the police. And if we want to ban you on the private land, 
American venue. Right, okay, even though you're illegally issuing non-tickets, apparently, and completely contravening the no, Protection no, of Freedoms no, Act. Oh, see, trespass is a civil offence as well, though, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Right, so, so, how, how am I committing... The is up is a, a type of contract. You have easement onto the estate. If you contravene the rules and regulations, which is the contract on, that's on all signage, then you are committing trespass. C can you show me the contract I've signed to commit trespass, please? Can you can you show me can you show me where I signed? Oh right, just uh, just because there's a sign there, that makes it legal, does it? That is the legal wording. Okay, well I've got to say, Mister, I've I've tried to talk some sense into you, but you're obviously not listening. Um, I say, well, I'm sure we'll be in contact in the future. To be honest. Okay, many thanks. Bye. All right, bye bye. Well, I hope that all came out alright. I'll play it back before I upload it, just to make sure you can hear everything. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're not the slightest bit interested in the fact they're breaking the law. Uh, where's the contract they signed for, for trespass? So they've put a sign up, so what? Um, you know, quite quite a disgust. I've just told the guy four or five times that, that he's been cautioned by... Whether formally or not, the police stood there and cautioned him verbally and said, you know, if you ban this guy over here, me, from, from going on any of these sites, she will be arrested. So, um, you could see Mr. Hart was just didn't really have an answer there. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this one. I hope it uploads, actually, because we're going a bit over time, really.